Hello, I'm Father Timothy Matkin with the Rector's Rambling for January 6, 2019. And today I want to pose the question, is it still Christmas? Boy, I hope so. And if you're not ready to take down the lights and the tree just yet, you may be in luck. In his classic book about the liturgy and all the rules and regulations, the ceremonies of the Roman Rite described, Adrian Fortescue, defines Christmas for us. This is what he has to say. Christmas tide runs from the first Vespers of Christmas to 13 January inclusive. So he would say, you've got a little time left. And in fact, a lot of people would say that. And in a lot of countries, Christmas festivities and decorations and stuff continue on for 40 days until Candlemas on February 2nd, which is the customary time to take down, especially the nativity displays. And that's still the practice today in Rome. And it kind of makes sense really to end there since Candlemas is really the last time that we see the Christ child in the gospel readings, because that's the one where Christ is presented in the temple as a baby. Now, Epiphany, that's January 6th, is a part of the Christmas celebration in the same way that Ascension is a part of Easter. They have historically and scripturally been glued together from the beginning. Both Christmas and Epiphany were octaves in the old prayer book. The octave of Christmas Day, January 1st, commemorated the circumcision of Christ since Jewish boys were circumcised eight days after they were born. The octave of Epiphany, January 13th, commemorates the baptism of Christ, which is kind of a parallel. Now, in the new Roman Missal and its revised calendar, the commemoration of Christ's baptism is moved from the fixed date of January 13th on the octave of Epiphany to the first Sunday after the Epiphany, even if that's just the next day. This is also the arrangement in the uh, 1979 Book of Common Prayer. Everybody kind of followed the lead when they revised the Roman calendar. However, it's not quite clear when Christmas is over. Now, on page 31 in this book, it outlines a Christmas season, the traditional 12 days of Christmas, and a new Epiphany season. And yet, in the Collects, Epiphany is not necessarily treated as a season at all. The Collects are for Sundays after the Epiphany, not of Epiphany. But then, of course, the Collects before those are similarly described as after Christmas Day. Now, does the 1979 prayer book envision the Christmas season ending with Epiphany or with the commemoration of the Lord's baptism? If we look in the weekdays between those two events, one may use either the Collect and Propers for the Epiphany or the second Sunday after Christmas. So it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Now, whenever you decide to take down the tree and the lights, be sure to leave the light of Christ shining in your heart. I'm Father Timothy Matkin. If you're in Dallas, come join us at St. Francis Anglican Church. You can look us up at stfrancisdallas.org. Please like and share, and we will see you there. God bless, and Merry Christmas.